Hey everyone, this is Glade. Just out to one of my bee yards. I'm um, going to put a little bit of syrup on these hives and uh, I've got a little bit of pollen patty left, so I'm going to give them what's left of that and see if we can't get these hives bulked up for, for winter. They're looking better than they, they have done, but they still need a little more feed on them. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, we're pretty well in a dearth this time of year. We don't have much going on. Um, there's a few things blooming, but just not much of anything. Um, we have some... Boy, I can't even find any around here. We have some of this... I'm pretty sure this is rabbit brush. Um, and we have a little purple aster. Um, well, there's a little patch right here. Other than that, we don't have much that's going to bloom from here on out. Um, asters rabbit brush, some wild sunflower, and if somebody will let their alfalfa go to bloom, you get you get some pretty good um, feed off of that. But right now, it's just about ready to be cut. Um, in fact, the one guy way down here, uh, I can't get, he's actually out there um, cutting hay right now. So um, I, I suspect this field will get cut pretty quick here. And then that's probably third crop for them. And from what my buddy tells me, he's probably going to let his um, just go. He'll probably turn his horses into it or something. And hopefully we get a little bit of nectar off of that, but usually don't get too much. All depends on the weather. So I'm going to give these hives a little bit of a boost and see if we can't add a little weight to them for, for winter. So I've got these hives here. We're going to feed them up, get them, hopefully get them up to weight for winter. Um, these might be a little bit grumpy today. And I'm not going to use a smoker, so hopefully I can get away with it. The queens are shutting down after we have um, nights like we had this last weekend um, over the Labor Day weekend. Some parts of Utah got snow. High elevation Ski resorts got some snow. I think Alton Snowbird got some snow. Um, of course, it's warm enough now that um, whatever snow they got's gone. But that's pretty typical for Utah this time of year. I think our temp today was like 80, 82, 83 or something, but our overnight lows... We're down into the 40s, at least it was last, um, night before last. Well, that looks pretty good. Mostly honey there, so don't really need to look at that too much. Oh yeah, that's nice and heavy. And I'm uh, in the middle of an apigard treatment. But these guys could really use some feed, so they're not going to get tons of pollen sub, but they're going to get some. When I made the pollen sub, it's 
pretty goopy this year. This time, this batch this year, this batch is pretty goopy. Um, I'm goopier than I like, but it's okay. The bees seem to not care too much. They've just devoured everything I've given them. And so hives that are plenty heavy are getting a maybe a half gallon or more syrup. And that's all I'm doing. Not really checking for fruit. I've been through these hives enough that they should be in pretty good shape for for winter. Well, A little more feeding and they'll be in good shape, hopefully. I've been testing out these insulated top covers. Not sure I can. My opinion's still out on these. Um, these seem to be okay with them, but they're a little bit of a pain to... To use, you have to strap them down, they're too light. The, the wind around here will just take them right off if you don't strap them down. So, that's one drawback. I think that's about the only thing I don't care for. I've been doing a lot of studying on insulating hives and whether they should be insulated, whether it matters, whether and I'm pretty getting more and more convinced that maybe insulation is a good thing if you can if you can do it at least on the top. So, I thought I would try these hives, these hive tops, and see if the bees like them, do better with them. Um, so, so far, these bees seem to do just fine through the summer with them. We'll see how they go through winter. Temperatures around here can fluctuate pretty, pretty wildly. We're not quite, we're not like the Wasatch Front around Salt Lake and Provo and Ogden. Their temperatures stay way more consistent. We cool off at night and they don't frequently. Like I said, we were down to 44 or something two nights ago. And back up to mid-80s during the day. So 40 degree temperature swing is pretty common. But that means the the bees have got to start clustering every night. And that gets hard on them a little bit. It's heavier than it was, but not quite where I'd like it yet. They're not getting 
tons of pollen patty here. They're just getting the last little bit. This hive has done quite well all year. But I'd like that top box to be a little bit fuller than it is. And probably a half a gallon for this one. Thank you. 